Hi, and welcome back to I'm a Happy Enchilada. And if it's your first time with us, thanks for tuning us in. We're glad you're here. I'm Don Culver, and I'll be your host. And today, I want to talk about resilience. It seems nobody really talks about resilience, do they? How can that be? Life has so many ups and downs and plenty of surprises and setbacks. No one gets through life unscathed. Come on, man. Now, having resilience is incredibly important. It's a necessary skill for keeping one's boat afloat and navigating the rough waters and getting back to a calm and peaceful place with as little stress and upset as possible. Now, resilience has been very important in my life, helping me to overcome a host of things and keeping me in the game of life. Now, one thing it's taught me is how to claw my way back from failure. And more than once, I might add, it's taught me that every failure is one step closer to that victory I deserve. So let's get started. Here's a definition of resilience I like. Resilience is the ability to withstand adversity and bounce back from difficult life events. Being resilient does not mean that people don't experience stress, emotional upheaval, and suffering. Resilience is important because it gives people the strength needed to process and overcome hardships. Well, having resilience is very important in our lives, for sure. It gives people the strength needed to process and overcome their hardships. I love that. Those lacking resilience get easily overwhelmed and may turn to unhealthy coping mechanisms. Ooh. Resilient people tap into their strengths and support systems to overcome challenges and work through problems. That's great. Any crisis, such as the coronavirus pandemic, can test resilience. Looking to loved ones for help and emotional support, increasing self-care, and focusing on the aspects of the situation that are under your control can help you weather almost any storm. Well. It's obvious to me that resilience is something we all need in our lives. At any moment, we could be faced with trauma, tragedy, threats, or significant sources of stress, such as family and relationship problems. Without some resilience skills on board, we face being overwhelmed and completely lost. Now, I believe it's imperative that we take the time to learn more about resilience and begin to develop more resilience in our lives now, before a tragedy strikes. Well, let's start now by looking at the three kinds of resilience. Mental resilience, emotional resilience, and physical resilience. And let's look at some ways you can work on increasing your resilience in those areas. For both mental and emotional resilience, foster optimism. Don't be in denial. Face your fears, better known as kissing the monster on the mouth. I love that. Hiding from fear makes it worse. Have a moral compass. A strong feeling of right and wrong tells you that you must when you feel you can't. For physical resilience, take a walk close to bedtime, take a relaxing bath before bed, and do not take your phone, tablet, or laptop into the bedroom with you, and no TV either. Try that, you'll be surprised, because a better night's sleep will increase your physical well-being in dealing with stress. Now, that's all good stuff to help you increase your resilience, whether it's your personal life, family relationships, problems in your work life, whatever. I hope you will take the time to become more aware of the need for resilience in your life and take the time to work on increasing your resilience. You won't regret it. Well, that's all I've got. So 
Until next time, God bless and be a happy enchilada. Bye.